this is my first video of filming anything on youtube but my hair is completely black i dyed it from a box hair dye i think it was a l'oreal one and it's jet black but when i go to the sun it's red so it must have red undertones and that means that i got to figure out how to take it off i got the vegan iron um hair stuff so pretty much this is what you're gonna need to begin okay so you do need to go get a scale if you don't have a scale these are 15 dollars at walmart i am not promoting walmart but this is where i bought it and this is going to be the color corrector so this is going to get the black or any other colors out double check to see if it will work for your hair color this one is going to be the bleach so this is what i'm bleaching with and it lives seven levels this is the developer i was going to go with 10 i got convinced somehow at sally's to just do a 20 so i'm gonna do 20 for both the bleaching and the coloring so for the color this is the color i got i got lightest golden blonde everything is ion and this is going to be a sealer so i'm going to use this after i dye my hair and i'm going to put this inside the color and the bleach so i'm gonna use half and half just to protect it so this protects your hair i have to start with the color corrector so follow the instructions of your color corrector. wow i just applied it sun is beaming so crazy but i wanted to show you guys what it already looks like um so yeah so it's like this is what my hair grow this is now that it's my natural hair color with i think a little bit extra my natural hair color came off but chocolate brown now we get to border trap Ooh, that's the part i've been waiting for so now i'm gonna do the exact same thing measuring the developer but it has to say 8.6 so it's twice double get up the sun's already gone. <laughs> and it looks like I have two giant shits on me. <laughs> four. Four of them. So, okay, this is where I'm at. It's like a strawberry blonde. Orange. <laughs> I'm going to put avocado now. A fresh avocado on it. As a mask all over it. And then I'm going to wash it off tomorrow and then re-bleach it just these parts because i feel like i want it more lighter i want it more bleached i feel like this is not it's not enough okay i just woke up this is literally Okay, so I don't know if you remember that I said I was going to put an avocado mask on my hair before going to sleep. So that's what I did, and that's why it looks like this. But right now I'm going to wash it off, I'm going to shower, and I'm going to wait for it to dry, and I'm going to re-bleach. Yes, after you do your first round of bleaching your hair, if you don't get the consistency or the color that you wanted out of it, make sure you mask it overnight with just avocado. Literally cut an avocado and rub it everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And look what it does to your hair. It makes it even lighter and it nourishes so it doesn't let it get damaged. Okay, so now that it's dried or semi-dried, it feels pretty cool inside some areas, but it's dry for the most part. I'm going to go ahead and bleach it the second time. I'm in bleaching number two, right? And it looks like this is it. I'm not going to have to do a third bleach. I am officially done. Now I just have to color it. I feel lucky because this is 2.05 ounces each one. So 4.10 ounces. And the rest of my developer, I measured it and I only have 8 ounces left. So it's enough for my hair dye and remember this one i went ahead and i added half of it to the bleach now i'm going to use the other half 
for my mixing so it's the same so four ounces eight ounces developer half of the bottle of the booster mix it up and put it in my hair i am currently just waiting but look how much my hair is bleached already so when you guys saw me go out in the sun i had the foils i took off the foils after 40 minutes then i went ahead and added more fresh bleach just on the outsides and the insides wherever i feel like it's still a little bit more yellow i retouched it a little bit now i'm letting that retouch sit for 15 minutes just to be a little bit safe i'm gonna hop in the shower and i'm gonna wash it off and then i'm gonna go outside and dry it in the sun natural heat from the sun it's not so hot outside it's december so it's pretty cool but it's still sunny where i live i live in the desert okay here it is ladies and gentlemen this is bleach number two i like have like a really strong urge to re-bleach it but i'm telling myself don't do it don't do it just try dyeing it see what hair color you get out of it so we'll see do you guys see what's going on so i am just waiting for the 45 minutes to be up and hopefully I have like a somewhat blonde because there's definitely still yellows and oranges in there okay so this is what it looks like my hair is frizzing up because it's drying right now still pretty wet okay what do you guys think still very yellow I don't feel like it's blonde but it's definitely not so orange anymore probably like really light okay so i didn't get a chance to film yesterday but yesterday i went to sally's and i got this one for the masking to tone it and the shampoo i ended up getting this one so i was just asking like the girls that were put it where it was more orange and less blonde so this is blonde and then this is like more like yellow dark yellow orangey so now i am going to wash it out wait for it to dry and film it how it looks and that's it. I think I'm pretty much blonde already. Now I'm just drying my hair after the toners that I bought last night at Sally's. And I'm just explaining how I'm drying it because I don't want to put any heat on it. This is the final result after everything. And I am currently looking at some semi-blonde and some like golden blonde. My roots, my roots are so white and I think that's from the toner. So I'm not going to be toning the roots. I'm just going to try to stay away from the roots. I'm going to go buy some hair dye. So on my roots, I'm going to put like an ash brown or a very dark blonde so that it could look like more natural but other than that I am happy with the results. I do wish it was like more blonder as in like lighter bright white i don't know how to explain it what i wanted but i got the black out and that's what's more important just keep toning my hair with the shampoo and the mask i want to say once a week and eventually i'm gonna end up having a very cute blonde